We want to find K for this reaction. What you needed to do, and this was a tough one for sure, recognize, hey, I see this and this. Those are, those are conjugates. I've seen that, and that's a reaction. And I see this one and this one. Those are conjugates. They'll also have an acid-base reaction. Um, that could either lead you to your mind or to the last page on the exam in which you'd see all oh, those reactions are given. There is uh, NH3 plus H2O goes to NH4 plus plus, uh, let's see, that, except OH minus. That's one of the reactions on the last page. Another one is HF plus H2O, the one that includes both these two, F minus plus H3O plus, and if I switch this around and write it the other way, it matches that one. F minus plus H3O plus goes to HF plus H2O. Okay? So I re rewrote the second one backwards. Okay, you'll notice that if I try to add these together, the waters will cancel, and I'll get that reaction up at the top. Okay, now the next step, if there weren't enough already, this from the back page has a KB that's a given. This one here has a KA that's given. Well, if I flip the reaction, I've just flipped the K. Inversed it. Now I'm going to add these two reactions to get the K for the top one. So now K total for the top reaction is KB divided by KA for the respective, you know, KB for NH3, KA for HF. So this was a, another Hess's Law type problem where you had to figure out the simultaneous reaction. So it happens often on the test, you need to say, okay, where am I seeing those chemicals? And you should look to the back page. So before the test, it's nice if you just review the back page a little bit, so that if you see something, you might think, oh, I think I've seen that before. Let me see if it's on the back page. That might be, give me a K value that I need or something like that. Is that all right? How yeah. do you determine between um, like that one and the one that the previous Referring back to uh, the, there's another that was one on page seventy number fifteen. Yeah, how do you differentiate between? Well, in this case, the overall reaction is given, and these reactions this was given, and these were given, and the K's were given. Mm -hmm. So in a sense, it was easier in that you didn't need to find these reactions. Okay. In this case, you needed to find them on the back page, right. and then find the K's that were listed there too. To allow you to find the overall K. So in that other question that you're talking about, the math is more difficult because there's just a lot of K action going on. In this case, the math is super easy. You just divide two numbers, but figuring out what these reactions are on the back page was pretty difficult. Okay. Okay. So this was conceptually a little more difficult. Okay.